I'd like to share with you the life cycle of the amazing plant Jatropha. It starts with a seed. You plant the seed in the ground, and within three to five months, you see flowers. The flowers are dioecious, meaning they can contain both male and female flowers. You can see them closely, the male and female, in the same inflorescence. When the male flower pollinates and fertilizes the female flower, you have a small embryo. And as you see, the embryo grows in size as a green fruit until it matures. At the stage of a yellow fruit, it's ready for harvest. At this time, it's at its highest production of oil. If you keep the fruit on the vine, it begins to senesce, age, and turn dark and black, and eventually dries. So fruit is harvested at this yellow stage. When you crack open this fruit, you have dehusking. You see three seeds per fruit. These seeds are then dried and then used as biofuel. You take a look at the seeds here. You can then dehull the seeds and, and produce the kernel. The kernel is where all the oil is concentrated. Both the husk and the hull can be used as a fuel source. The kernel is used to make biojet or biodiesel fuel. Now to demonstrate how effective this plant is in producing biofuels, I will light the kernel on fire. These volatile plant oils contain both 18-1 and 18-2 fatty acids, which happen to be the optimal blend of materials to make biodiesel. It's a very robust flame and actually in the early days was used as a source of candles.